And welcome back. Now, July is going to be here before we know it. And with that, Albuquerque the Magazine has just released their next issue for the month. And here with an overview of what readers can expect is staff writer Tom Sanford. You got it. I yes. love the presentation. <laughs> okay, we're talking beer and barbecue. Correct? Absolutely, Chris. Tell me a little bit about the issue. You know, I'm a little surprised we never did a beer and barbecue issue before this. Yeah, it's the season. It's hot outside. Uh -huh. That's why I didn't wear a suit. It's just too dang hot. But I that agree. also means there's barbecue mm -hmm. everywhere, right? We, uh, we went around town because we know there's all kinds of good barbecue joints. Oh, there's yeah. actually 25 that we visited for this issue. Yeah. Nice. We knew there were so many that we had to really pick out what made each one unique. Yeah. And they, they're all super unique. What were know? some of the ones that you guys got to visit? Yeah. You know what? Quarters on Wyoming. There's two quarters in town, right? They're managed mm -hmm. differently, but they share the same name. So we had to kind of suss that out, right? <laughs> yeah. But they're both super unique. There's one that has a wine. Uh, expert and of course the uh, quarters itself is connected to a you know a liquor yeah. uh, distribution store right mm -hmm. so you can get wine delivered over and they will pick any uh, wine like you pick a wine in their lineup they'll bring it over and pour it for you for your barbecue can you believe that nice so it's I not like always that. just about the barbecue yeah. right it's about the uh, the stuff that comes along with it that truly really makes it unique you and know? you have 25 places in there for barbecue yeah, yeah, we're talking like family places, yeah. like one of the food trucks here in town. We covered food trucks, too. That's Perfect. a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there's a guy named Corley Ayers, and his family is like super great at making barbecue. So he just made a business out of it. He actually catered his own family reunion, and it was like 250 people. So nice. Pretty cool, What right? a tough job you have going oh, yeah. and visiting 25 yeah. barbecue places. Somebody had to places. take that bullet, right? <laughs> now, we're also talking <laughs> beer, too, correct? We are. And we were talking about the brewery kind of trend exploding. Yeah, it's gotten Albuquerque. huge, and you've noticed, too, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not even if you're not into beer like you can't miss how They're everywhere. big yeah they yeah. are yeah and i mean it's kind of getting to the point where it's it's getting hard to cover because there's so much going on yeah so what we did for this beer feature is we uh we tried to give a good wrap around of uh of what's going on in albuquerque mm -hmm. and we figured hey the best way to do this is to talk to the brewers themselves so we invited four of the head honchos around town like jeff Irway from la cumbre mm -hmm. um you know zach gilmet from chama we got to sit down and taste each other's beers and just chat about the scene right i like yeah, that and yeah. that's in the in the it issue too it surely is yeah and i mean we, we asked them about growth and yeah. you know where the industry is headed here in albuquerque and they mm -hmm. said pretty much nowhere but up you know wow. there's like this crap movement i don't know if you know yeah. this coffee too mm -hmm. people want quality food and yeah. that means quality beer too right so it's easy switching. easy hang out to kind of head to those breweries and stuff too absolutely um is there kind of going back to the barbecue a unique style of barbecue mm -hmm. here yeah I'm you, you know what curious of that. the unique part about albuquerque's barbecue scene is there is no style it's all styles and mm -hmm. no styles at the a same time of <laughs> exactly styles. you know you got texas style you got mm -hmm. memphis style barbecue we got both of those here in town and then we've got some some very unique twists, you know, that yeah. incorporate green chili. Of mm -hmm. course, you got to do that because it's oh, in yeah. Mexico, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, you just got to go out there and try these. And in fact, this is a good place to start in our exactly. issue. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. You definitely want to pick that up. Beer and barbecue lovers, that's your go to. You also yeah. kind of covered something that I thought was interesting. People who um, go here in Albuquerque, yep. they leave but come back. That's right. Did, how did you come to Albuquerque? Did you grow up here by chance? No, I, I'm actually from California, but California. the job took me here. Exactly. Hopefully here to stay. <laughs> See, um, that's what happened with a lot of people in this issue, yeah. too. Is their job opportunity came up, they just want to get out of town, so they moved away. And then, you know, 10 years later, two years later, they and, you back. know, what have you, yeah, they had good reason to come back. Most of them were homesick, and they just mm -hmm. missed Albuquerque. So is it kind of just a different personal stories there that you it guys is. incorporated into the issue? Yeah, actually, there's one who left to Hawaii right after high school, right? She oh. spent two years out there, became yeah. a wedding planner, right? <laughs> after a while, she's like, I, I've kind of had yeah. it with weddings, so I'm coming back here to Albuquerque. Hawaii so, and New Mexico, it's yeah. different. Yeah, and in actually, every somebody, meaning. <laughs> yeah, somebody went to California too, and they become like uh, a personal represent, uh -huh. you know, a person who represents a star, right? Okay. You know, like a personal, yeah. you know what I'm trying yeah, to get at, right? Yeah, kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah, that mm -hmm. got old pretty quick though. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> she sure. came back. So perfect. <laughs> now that's so awesome. You definitely want to get a hold of that, Tom. Where can we mm -hmm. find this? You can where actually can find it on newsstands now, Walgreens, you know, all around town, Flying mm -hmm. Star or you can subscribe and get it a few days early. abqthemag.com. abqthemag.com. Easy enough. And for short, this is one of those things you want to keep around all summer long. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Join Perfect. me and I'll show you some good barbecue. Sound I, good? That does sound good. <laughs> Perfect. Tom, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. And if you want more information, you can head to our website, kariqe.com. We'll be right back.